Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that there butt. It is. Oh yeah. <laughs> start it up? Yeah, start it up. Let's see, let's see if I can figure it out by the sound. Woo. All right, guesses in the comments. What is it? Don't be cheating. <laughs> Tell them something. You want to tell them that you're six months old today? A whole six months? Oh yeah. Say so I can support myself and everything now. I'm just amazed by this big old camera in my face. I'm not used to it. <laughs> Abu. Abu. Look, look at his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is JR, aka the Sister Camaro, and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, so happy to have you here, because today is a very special day, a day that we've been waiting for, that kind of came too fast, and then it went too slow, but it's here right now. Now, uh, we're on the way to uh, the dealership right now, we're going to be picking up a brand new car for the channel. That's right, I'm getting this car so that we can actually have a build because when I started this channel, the truck was about where it is right now, so we haven't really done much with it. The car, of course, has only big ticket items to do on it, but instead of pumping more money into this, I figured let's go brand new with something not many people have. So this is the first time I've ever, ever ordered a car directly from the dealership, spec'd it out and everything, we had it built in the factory. So it's a high ticket item, but yeah, I think it's going to be worth it. So we're going to take this thing out. We're going to be doing all sorts of things with it. We're going to be do, uh, making it look better, making it sound better, perform better. We're going to take it to the track. I mean, so many different things that we're going to be able to do with this. And I just going to open up so many different avenues. Now, on a previous video, I asked you guys what you thought. If you could talk me out of uh, what I was thinking. I gave you options of like the GTR, the C7 Vet, the C8 Vet that just came out. The, uh, the Red Eye uh, Wide Body Hellcat and Charger Challenger, the uh, Z01 1LE uh, Camaro, like so many different options that we had on the table. We talked about it, we discussed, you had your opinions, and I kind of put that together and decided on basically what I would want to be in myself, what I wanted to drive. So we're on the way to get it. We have like a two hour drive because we're going to the East Coast of North Carolina to pick this car up. I got pictures, I got sound clips, I wanted you guys to be surprised, so I kept you guys in the dark because I wanted it to be a very special occasion. So if you don't mind, share this video out because the car that we picked, you might have a lot of friends out there that might want to tag along and see if it's a right fit for them too. Like live vicariously, have little um, talk points here and there. But uh, I really want to hear what you guys think, what you guys want to have to say about it. Uh, please don't be let down when we get there. If it's not the car that you wanted, trust me, we have big plans for this. Uh, we're hoping 1,000 horsepower on this thing. We're hoping for that. We're going to be wrapping it right off the bat and putting extra stuff on it uh, within like the first two weeks that we have this car. Uh, SEMA is a prospect if we can get in on that at Las Vegas on the West Coast because that's a good place to go to. And um, of course, we are always thinking about the C8 Corvette no matter what. So the Z06 is on the top of my list of uh, cars that I want to bring to the channel. I want to be one of the first ones with it so that we can give you guys the kind of content you deserve. Whether or not that's going to happen, we've got to really, we, 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 got, we got to think about some, some, some money wise. So if you guys share this channel out, we get a bunch of subscribers, a bunch of views. Of course, that might actually help pay for it because this car that we're getting today is not paid for by YouTube money. It helps a tiny bit, but, um, but right now we're not at, at a, um, million subscribers or anything like that so we don't have like thousands of dollars to invest in it every single month so we can't be getting a whole bunch of big projects but we've got so many cool things coming to the channel and uh, I'm just so excited on everything that we have just don't be let down on whatever it may be stick around the channel 
we've got some really cool projects some really cool stuff coming for you so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already enjoy the ride and i'm going to give you all of the emotions that we kind of go through with doing something like this because not many people actually get that opportunity so um, enjoy the ride uh, we'll see you in a few minutes when we're a little bit closer it's uh now it's like 8 30 when we left the house so it's going to be about 10 o'clock 11. we're going to be just like street speed 717 we're going to be picking up this car in the rain i didn't want to do that but you know it's whatever i had this car cleaned up to uh because i wanted to see the the build that we had for the car shows so we're driving that for two hours but they wanted to see i kept it clean for two three months now and of course it's going to rain but you know it is what it is um so we're, we're just going to let it roll so uh hope you guys enjoy thank you so much and uh we'll get right back to it in a minute hi i'm white so um <laughs> we want we're, we're in line to get breakfast right now i want to throw in something like a little extra kind of personalized for you guys because uh I feel like the videos are just like too structured. So, we are here at one of the best places for any lunch, dinner, especially breakfast. Any meal of the day. Any meal. But it's of the only day. available in the South. Bojangles, if you've never heard of it, I don't care who you are, if you come to the South in the US, go grab some Bojangles. It is the best. I don't care about your In N Out burger. I don't care about your White Castles. I don't care about none of that. <laughs> Bojangles is the number one spot. Get a chicken biscuit. You get a supreme dinner, you get some chicken fingers with some uh, highly seasoned fries, some sweet, sweet tea. Get a that's, large sweet tea. That, that's the southern way. But I'm just telling you that on this trip, we had to make sure Bojangles is on that trip. So every morning, if I could, I would eat Bojangles. I actually did that at work a few times. Eat two biscuits, two uh, orange juices, and <laughs> I'm ready for the day. And if you want some dessert, you feel like some dessert, what do you get, babe? Pizza. No. Oh. Bowberry biscuit. Oh, I don't eat that. Yeah, that's good. They're they're delicious. He doesn't eat like anything, so don't we, listen to him. Yeah, just take take my word for it. Chicken biscuit or supreme dinner. They have like bacon, egg, and cheese, and all that stuff in the, at breakfast. I don't I don't really get that. She does um, sometimes sausage, egg, and cheese, all that kind of stuff. But just trust me, Bojangles is the move. All right, so we had our Bojangles. Our bellies are nice and full. We're almost exactly halfway there. How you feeling? Pumped up. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> shout out to the guy. Uh, so we missed the turn for Bojangles, and uh, there was a, a delivery truck for Best Buy uh, Geek Squad. So uh, shout out to you guys because they literally stopped traffic just to, to just to ask questions about the car. We gave them a sticker. The rest of the traffic was mad. Uh, whatever, but uh, but yeah, they really enjoyed it. So that, that made my day. Thank you guys so much. All right, guys. So before we get there, I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by our friends over at Manscaped. We've got renewed for another season, so expect to see a lot more from them. Thank you guys at Man Manscaped for sponsoring this video and for uh, for helping us achieve goals like this. And thank you all of you for buying their products using our code. Because of that, we're still sponsored by them. So let's keep it going. If you need any any at all kind of Manscaped products. Don't use the same razor up here that you do for down there. Get a clean shave with that, what is, what's the word for it? With that quiet stroke technology, has an LED light on it. My wife is giggling on it because she likes it. She likes that word, but she she really enjoys everything about the, the product. You got ear and nose trimmers, you got ball deodorant, you got ball rejuvenators. Uh, they got underwear, they got shirts, they even got cologne now. I'm telling you, if you've never had it before, you've never experienced it, get the entire package. It's called the Performance Package. You get everything you could possibly need in one box. And you get 20% off plus free shipping by using our brand new code Camaro. Again, that's 20% off free shipping using code Camaro. Go blow it up. Go get yourself some product. Get it for your friends, your family, your, your dad, your brother. Um, I've even had a couple of female friends actually buy them and they actually enjoy it too. So just go out, get as much as you can because I'm telling you, it's the best product on the market. I would not be sponsored by them if they were not. So code Camaro and if the code changes at any point in time on any other videos, I might have the text in the video, but I will always have it in the description and top comment as the most updated code for you guys. So all you have to do is just use that code, save some money, Get the best products that you possibly can. And thank you, Manscaped. 
again for sponsoring this video. Everybody can use a little quiet stroke technology. Quiet stroke technology. <laughs> like a boar like like a warthog kind of thing it was in the middle of the median he didn't want anybody to hit it so he stayed right there with his lights on he's trying to shoot it back into the woods so nobody was pulled over like we thought he was just trying to get the animal out of the road so nobody hits it and destroys their car so <laughs> appreciate that police officer that was a first that boar was stealing deborah deborah, De deborah what are you doing what's deborah doing she should be in the middle of the median trying to see what we doing <laughs> you're supposed to be watching that baby <laughs> Our sweet little baby Mackenzie. You miss her? Yes. Yes. I wish we could have brought her with us. She ain't ready for that though. She ain't ready for that life. She ain't ready for the oats. <laughs> Alright y'all, we are about five minutes away from the dealership. Excited. Woohoo! It was about a two and a half hour long drive, but we did stop to get some food and we also stopped at a rest area to use the potty. So it ended up being closer to like a three hour drive. It was a pretty easy drive. Nothing too bad. It was boring because there's nothing out here but freaking open land. <laughs> and that's it. A lot of, lot of trees and not much of anything else. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm getting excited. Yep. I am a little nervous though because any time that I have bought a car, I have gone to the dealership, picked out what I want, and bought it. Like, I've never had a vehicle. I've never bought a vehicle, like, through the, like, had it made fr from the factory and then went and picked it up, like, already been purchased without seeing it. So, that makes me a little nervous, but I am really excited. I can't wait to see her and see how beautiful she is. What about you? You excited, boo? Yep. Let's try and get a reaction. So we're, I'm trying to get you guys everything that we possibly can in this video because like I said, not many people can do this. So I want to be able to show you guys what it looks like for this to happen. So to get you guys motivated to work hard, work as hard as you can to get the thing that you want in life so you can enjoy stuff like this. So that's the whole reason for this. So we got about two more minutes in our ride. So while we're waiting for the last two minutes, I'm going to share a little story with y'all. Story time, yay! So when we stopped at the when we stopped at the rest area uh, just a few miles away from here I went inside I had my mask on I had my matching Sinister Camaro hoodie on SinisterCamaro.com <laughs> get your merch there and I go in I do my business I come out and there's a line to wash our hands because there's only one faucet working in the bathroom and this middle-aged lady comes in with her daughter who looked like she was somewhere around I don't know 8 to 10 or something like that and she takes one look at me with all my skulls on and the mom immediately grabs the daughter's arm and jerks her into a stall with her and like she just seemed really panicked and i'm just like all right calm down lady it's just photos of skulls they're not going to jump out and bite you if they would have watched the channel i mean they would have known we're not bad people yeah it's just the car is evil so but it was just really funny because people a lot of times they see skulls and they freak out and they think you know I don't know. They think we're crazy because we, we wear skulls. We are, just a different kind. Yeah. Okay. So this is, this is the dealership. I don't see her outside yet, but that doesn't mean she's not outside. Yep, Chevy Newburn. Yep, Chevy, Chevy Newburn. So we just gave y'all a clue. Blues, clues, blues, clues. Yes, it's on this side. All right. Let's see. Where can we pull that at? Look. Ah, everybody's smiling. They know who it is. This is like the weirdest spot you could have chosen to yes. park. Yeah. All right. Ugh. Welcome to New Bern, North Carolina. Uh, <laughs> you're leading us on a chase? Yeah. So this is Scott Travers. This is our dealer. We're going to leave his information down in the description below so he can uh, you can come check him out. 
I'm ready to see it. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm excited. So raw, raw emotions. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that there butt. There it is. Oh yeah. Start it up? Yeah, start it up. Let's see, let's see if I can figure it out by the sound. Woo. All right, guesses in the comments. What is it? Don't be cheating. <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> Right, they'll come back. exactly the update that we were hoping to give and this is not like a joke or clickbait or anything we are what time is it 3 30 it's 3 30 on the dot right now january 15th we're leaving the dealership without the new car and like i said this is not a joke it's not clickbait so we finished signing the paperwork at about i don't know two o'clock like right before two and we went across the street to ihop and it's literally right across the street. Like I'm looking at IHOP right now. And uh, Jared noticed that the new car was kind of bucking. And he looked up at the dash and there was a, a warning thing on there that said something about like checking the axle or something. Yeah, power reduced to check rear axle. So he starts freaking out. We go to IHOP, we eat real fast. And I tell him, I'm like, all right, well, we haven't eaten all day uh, since we went to Bojangles at like 9 o'clock. So I was like, let's eat real quick and then go back over there. We had, I was like, let's just eat as fast as we can and go back over to the dealership. So we eat, he gets back in the car, he kind of messes with the controls a little bit, seeing if maybe it was just a setting that he had done. And uh, he couldn't figure it out. So we drive back across the street to the dealership. The drive back across the street is just as bad, still bucking. Um, so we talk to them and let them know what's going on. They take the car to, to the back to look at it. While we're waiting, we notice a puddle of some kind of fluid in the parking spot where it had been. Which it was clear. It wasn't like trans uh, transmission fluid or diff fluid. It wasn't like anything like that. It was crystal clear and it was on the back of the car. It wasn't from the exhaust tips. It wasn't from the AC unit. It looked like it actually was coming from the rear diff, that rear axle area. So we mentioned it to them. We don't know when we pulled up if like there was a puddle of water already there or if it came from the car, but we mentioned it to them just to like let them know, hey, this might be part of the problem. Like just letting you know that there was a puddle here because that might help them figure out what's going on. We waited about an hour and they came out and they told us like our guy doesn't know what's going on and they said, Honestly, even if he was able to figure out what the problem is today, you still wouldn't be leaving with your car today because 
since it is a brand new car that nobody really has yet, they don't have the parts for it just laying around. So they were like, we know y'all drove like two, two and a half hours to get here. We don't want y'all just sitting out here all night when you're not going to be able to leave with the car today anyways. Um, so we're heading home. They're keeping the car. They're going to fix it. We are really disappointed, but I will say that they are handling it exactly how it should be handled. Whatever's wrong with the car is not the dealership's fault, so Amen. we're not going to tell people, like, don't go here or anything like that. They've been wonderful. They've been awesome. To the whole stuff, I, I asked so many questions the entire, like, five or six months that we've set this thing up since that first video came out about, hey, what new car should we get? Like, I've been talking to dealerships, this one in particular, this exact person, for that long time. So every, the long time that we've been waiting for this thing, I've been every day just question, 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 answering it. Like he's been night. pestering this guy and this guy has been nothing but helpful and so polite and everything. So we're definitely not bashing the dealership. Whatever's wrong with the car, it either came like that from the factory or it's an issue that happened during transportation. It is nothing that the dealership did. It the has car has five miles. Five, well, maybe less, but five miles. Five right miles now. because they drove it to put gas in it for us. But and we then did, we drove across the street to IHOP. We did get approved. We do have it is in our name it's just a matter of getting this part fixed and figuring out how we're going to get to the house so we can actually start enjoying it and since they don't know what's wrong with it and they don't know what parts they need yet because they've only had they've only been looking at it for an hour and you know with coronavirus it could take longer for them to get parts we don't know how long it's going to take um to get the car fixed but when the car does get fixed they said that we do have the option of them delivering it to us for free so i mean they're doing literally absolutely everything that they possibly can to fix the situation for us whatever's wrong with the car they're going to fix for free they're willing to deliver it to us for free if we choose that option so we do definitely appreciate the great customer service at chevy of new Bern. um you know just kind of a disappointing situation but it's not anything we can do about it it's not they're doing everything they can do about it they didn't cause the issue so definitely not bashing the dealership they've been wonderful but we just wanted to update y'all and like i said it's january 15th we'll see how long it takes for the issue to get fixed and we'll keep y'all updated on the way Perfect. Perfect.